One of the first things we try to get across to kids when we're talking about drones is that a drone is a robot. Most people don't think of drones as robots, but that's simply what they are. So now you may be asking, well, what is a robot? Well, as simply, we define a robot as having three things. So first, a robot is a machine with a programmable brain that can move a physical body. So a robot has to have all those three things to be considered a robot. So we always ask the kids, so is a computer a robot? Go ahead and shout out the answer. Is a computer a robot? And the answer is no, right? Because it, it has two of those things, right? It's a machine and it has a programmable brain because you can program a computer but it doesn't move a physical body, right? So if you think about all of the robots that you've seen in movies, uh, like R2-D2 or C-3PO from Star Wars, they all are able to move themselves around, right? If you see robots in a factory, uh, they also are able to move themselves around. They're machines. You can program them and they can move a physical body. And so, um, quick thought experiment. If you put some wheels or tracks on a computer, and connected it so that now you could program it and move it around, would it then become a robot? Yeah, so that makes it a robot, right? So again, the key points there are to be a robot, you have to have the three things, right? A machine, meaning when we say a machine, we mean something that has been man-made or built, right? Has some mechanical parts to it. Um, has to be a machine, it has to have a programmable brain, and then it has to move a physical body on its own. And so if we think about drones, drones have all of those things, right? Um, now we're flying our drones with a remote, but a lot of drones also have the capability of simply being programmed and move around uh, autonomously is what they say. So moving around by themselves without any human interaction or control, right? Uh, and so that's what makes a drone a robot. For this activity, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask for a volunteer in the class with you uh, to stand up, okay? so. So take a second to, to uh, have a volunteer come up and stand in front of the class. Now, what we're gonna do here is, I want the volunteer to stand like you see in this picture here. So you see how she's standing here in the picture. I want the volunteer to stand like that. So um, before you do that, uh, I need another volunteer to come up. So coach, now the coaches in the class can choose the volunteers that come up. So, okay, so the first volunteer, we want you to stand like you see in the picture here again. And the second volunteer, what I want you to do is try to push over the first volunteer. All right, don't, not too hard now. Just gently try to knock them off balance if you can. And so for the, for the person that's standing in this yoga pose, um, what I want you to do is try to resist being pushed over as much as you can, okay? So the other volunteer is gonna try to push you over, but I want you to try to resist that and stay balanced on your one leg, okay? So go ahead and try, give that a try. Okay, so what was the main thing that you noticed about that interaction? Um, from the person who was trying to stay balanced? What was the main thing that you noticed? So the main thing that you probably should have noticed or seen, hopefully, if, if it was done correctly, um, is that the person who's trying to balance themselves, what are they doing? They're moving a certain part of their body, right? So they're trying to keep their center of gravity. And how they do that is by moving their arms typically up and down, right? So what, what that does is it shifts the weight and allows you to kind of maintain the center of gravity in your balance. So whenever you, if you've ever seen somebody walk on a tight rope, for instance, right? Um, they usually are walking like this or they have some sort of a long pole that gives them a, uh, a, a, a center of gravity that's uh, very centered, right? Uh, but the, the pole or their arms are moving left to right, right? So it's kind of shifting that, that center of gravity. And, uh, and the reason we talk about that or we do this activity is because essentially drones are constantly shifting uh, their center of gravity by not moving their arms, but moving, what do you think they're moving? 
that's uh, constantly shifting in their center of gravity. Propellers, right? So if you said propellers, good job, because that's exactly it. So they use their propellers to move up and down, right? Uh, move from side to side. So now this part requires a little bit of thought. Now, how do humans know, how did the one volunteer know that they were off balance and that they had to shift their arms to uh, maintain that balance? So how do you know that you're off balance? Go ahead and shout out some suggestions. Okay, now it turns out that humans have inside of their ear a little bit of liquid, okay? That tells your brain that you're off balance. And so, so if you close your eyes, for instance, or if you move your head, the reason you're able to kind of sense that is because the water in your ear is off, right? So it's unlevel, which tells your brain that you're off balance, right? And so once you know that you're off balance, then you can make the adjustments, right? And that's exactly how a drone works, right? And a drone has a sensor as well called a gyroscope, which detects rotational movement. And when it detects that rotational movement, it's able to quote unquote, shift its arms which then balances it. That's another thing that make drones robots, right? So they have sensors, right? Things that tell them something about their position or the outside world. And based off of that sensor, because they have a programmable brain, they can then make decisions that allow them to either stay balanced or maybe not go into a certain area because it's too hot, right? So just like humans have sensors that inform what we do, robots, have sensors as well, right? And one of the main things that make them robots as well. And since a drone doesn't have robots, again, they move their propellers up and down, right? And they do this by doing what? And this is from last week, right? How do they move them up and down? By changing the speed of the propeller, right? So, and now when you're looking at a drone, all of the propellers, it's, I mean, the human eye can't tell that they're spinning at different speeds, but that's what they're doing, right? So if you spin them faster, then what happens? The drone goes up, right? Uh, on that side or that motor or that propeller goes up. And so the drone is constantly dancing by spinning these propellers at different speeds to keep it level, okay? And so in the next video, we'll talk about uh, what we call the propeller speed guide, and we'll get to a deeper understanding of how a drone is able to do that by changing the speed of their propeller. But the key point here in this section, the major key alert, is that a drone is a robot and it uses sensors and has a brain.